Hey you all, welcome to the channel, it's Rad from Radko Tarot and in this whole video we are going to look into your Sun, Moon and as well rising sign for the week 18th of January up until the 24th of January 2021 and uh, if you are interested in a personal reading you can go to my website which link you are going to find into the description down below there at the very front page you are going to see the full list of my services as well their prices and depending on your budget and uh, your needs you can purchase whatever service suits you best. Upon purchase within 24 hours I'm going to contact you via email so make sure you do check your spam and junk folder as well because sometimes the email provider likes to throw my messages in those folders. And also if you are interested in tarot you want to learn to read tarot I'm offering as well tarot classes in case you want to check them out uh, they are under the tarot classes section so with that being said guys um, I hope you do enjoy the show all right so uh, this will be Scorpio Sun Scorpio Moon and as well Scorpio Rising just hold on a second Scorpio Rising a weekly general tarot reading for the upcoming week and uh, bear with me a second guys to shuffle the tarot cards and we are jumping right into it all right so uh, the first one we have for us, Scorpio, that will be the, and I'm saying us because I am a Scorpio as well, actually with the double stellium in there, uh, but uh, that's besides the point. So we do have the Hermit first one. Can you see the card? Yes, you can. So Hermit first one followed by uh, the Eight of uh, Wands. Moving next, we do have the Queen of a Pentacles followed by the Fool card. And uh, the last one we do have, that is to be the Six of a Pentacles. Uh, right. So, uh, the start of the week for a Scorpio here with uh, the uh, Hermit card is going to be rather slow. Uh, but it's how can I describe it's not going to be slow because we are kind of like going to be either lazy or it's it's because you know we're not going to have any options available in front of us and uh, no it's going to be slow with the uh, with the hermit card because we are to uh, understand at that point that it's very crucial what direction we are to choose to go from there and uh, now the hermit usually focuses or kind of pick points the substantial endeavors, the substantial goals in our life. And at the start of the week, we are to address those substantial points. One in particular, that is with a uh, with a quite of a huge portion of wisdom and as well intelligence. That's why the hermit is uh, associated with uh, with a withdrawal, with a seclusion, which that is not right to be said if the card is neutral. OK, that's not seclusion. It is, but it is a volunteer, a voluntary one. That card doesn't mean that you are going to be ignored by anybody. It means that you would prefer to be alone so you can um, think of what is this substantial thing for you? What is that? essential part of your life that you have to put not under control but you have to attend to at that particular point and um, the thing with the hermit it is that at the start of the week we are going to uh, how can i say mm, well what i want to say here is that we are going to find out quite of a, a huge resolutions to our issues that is, be that is because with the Hermit, it is like, imagine it that way, uh, you are finding the light that shines for you out there, you know, you're finding the light at the end of the tunnel. I mean, you're not there yet, but you're seeing it and all that you got to do is just keep going into that direction. And that's why we need that intelligence and wisdom that is engraved with us, within us. To, uh, to be a virtue at that point at the start of the week, which does exclude emotions, right? Worst thing you can do is make any uh, decisions here uh, based on your emotions, on our emotions. We have to make it based on our intelligence and wisdom. So 
we are going to know the direction we got to go in order to find ourselves, uh, say, happy, if that's something that is substantial for you, lucrative. What is substantial will be different for every single one of us. But the point is that the path for us is going to be revealed into that direction. Maybe the substantial thing for you is to keep your job. Maybe the substantial thing for you is to have a child. Maybe the substantial thing things for you is to have peace. Whichever it is, the path toward it is going to be revealed for us, okay, at the start of this week. And only thing we got to do is keep going into this path. Now, the thing about the hermit, it is that whenever we see that path and we decide to go into that direction, um, not everybody is going to be happy about it. Uh, it's just because that direction of ours, that path of ours, this new uh, th this new goal, if you will, or agenda, does not serve purpose to say half of the people we are uh, dealing with. And that's why at that point we may feel kind of like a withdrawal from these people. We, we may want to withdraw from them as well. That, shouldn't be not, that should not be anything or something that's, that we should be concerned about or scared about. Uh, and right after that, from the start of the week towards the middle of the week, where we already saw what we got to do, you know, through our intelligence, through our wisdom, eight of wands takes place and eight of wands kind of points the uh, abnormal. It's not, it's not even abnormal, but the huge amounts of, um, of things to do for us. And I'm saying things to do because the eight of wands, it's a card pointing to many um, many enterprises, many endeavors, many options available, let's say that way, which are, how can I say, which are not that substantial as the previous one we have. So they will serve here uh, as a, uh, some kind of a destruction, something peripheral that we can, that we can do, but is going to devour a bit of time that we can spend chasing, you know, the light at the end of the tunnel here. But it will be very, it will be very situational, really. For uh, one person, will have no time to waste whatsoever. Other person will have to wait for something to develop. Meanwhile, they can make advantage of the eight of wands. You know, have fun and do everything that it is offered to you from from life. Because eight of wands, it is a, a an abundance of things to do at that particular point. And uh, yeah, it will be very dynamic in a sense. But uh, eight of wands also it's a card of a risk. What I mean is that not everything that it is offered to you to us at that particular point is for us to uh, to experience. For that reason, it will be very important here, Scorpio, and I have to say that to myself as well. Maybe I have to rewatch the video a few times here, that whenever we do have an option available in front of us, uh, in front of us in the first half of the week, option available that it is offered to us instead of a such that we have a reach to through our intelligence and wisdom, we have to... Uh, scale it with a clear-headed mind so we do not find ourselves deprived of something we have. Now, in fact, Eight of Wands could be um, a card pointing that we may lose everything we got if we are um, reckless and as well uh, ignorant to the dangers that this option available poses. I'm not saying that every one of them is going to be like this, but there are going to be such... Uh, take them as a uh, traps. So we have to be rather careful what kind of a uh, uh, activities, if you will, we are involving ourselves into at, from, the mi from the start to the mid of the week. And right after that, a person steps into, into our life. That could be someone we already know, or it could be someone brand new here. Queen of Pentacles. That individual, uh, it's, uh, it's somebody that uh, couldn't, they don't want anything from us in a sense of they don't want to use us for anything. They have everything one could desire. They have everything that they do desire. Now, the, these people, these individuals, they are very self-absorbed. Um, and they don't concern themselves with uh, the uh, with the life of others in general. They are very close people, and they don't share much with others. 
Queen of Pentacles, however, uh, they do have the tendency to chase um, maximum potential. And I do believe that this is how this thing is going to develop here to us. I mean, when that person steps in at that point, they focus on this substantial goal of ours, whichever that goal is, it's going to be individual for every single one of us. Like I said, it's very, it's very situational. And um, if not helping us, this individual is going to tell us how far we can go. I mean, what is the real uh, what is the real price at the end? How how big potential we do have that it is to reach in terms of career or in terms of relationship uh, as well. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles, it is like a guardian, right? And they do, uh, they just cannot stand. And, and by the way, this is a very good card to have it after the Eight of Wands. Because should we take something that it is not meant from us, for us as an option available or as an opportunity here, the Queen of Pentacles is also going to um, divulge to us the negative potential as well, how much we can lose. And that could reverse or rather like change our heart in terms of what we are involved into. So um, with the Queen of Pentacles, we will uh, realize how far we can go with this, we can go with this substantial goal that we are going to pretty much come up with at the start of the week. Uh, which, by the way, substantial thing, it could be as well the love. I mean, you may kind of withdraw at the start of the week to um, analyze intelligently and wisely how much you do love your wife, you do love your husband, and you do may realize that they are the most substantial thing in your life. And so after that, you know, you move into that direction to improve your marriage, to improve your relationship, etc., etc. So the uh, what could be substantial for you, it's just the options available for that are uh, endless. And right after this person steps in, a new beginning starts here with the full card, or that is just the moment before the beginning. Um, the full card, how can I say? At that point, it will be very important from the mid toward the end of the week not to focus on what could hold you back, what are to be the predicaments, the ordeals or the problems you are to face in your job or in your relationship as well. I mean, you have to be, you should be carefree or you have to be carefree at that, uh, at that particular time frame from the mid to the end of the week. You should be sincere when it comes to dealing with other people and as well, which whatever, uh, how can I say, uh, goal or agenda you do have from the start of the week here, mar marked by the, uh, by, the Hierophant, uh, by the Hermit, I'm sorry, card. Um, the Fool, it's a uh, testament that you can definitely get there. But it's also a testament that uh, the path will be different from the path that you have imagined at the start. And that difference will be revealed to you by this individual Queen of Pentacles, which shows you whichever potential you do have, because I said that it could be also directed to a negative potential. Now, the good thing about this new beginning, and I'm saying this is a new beginning because obviously we do have a new goal that you are to follow here, that we are to follow at the start of the week that shows up. So the good thing about this new beginning is that we are not going to carry on any burdens from the past. So if that's a new relationship, then it means that you are not going to judge or adjudicate that new relationship based on poignant experiences from the past. In fact, you are to be completely healed here. And uh, at the end of the week, we do have the Six of Pentacles. So there isn't much to be said about this card in that particular follow-up Scorpio. The card pretty much points that you are going to settle or we are going to settle our path. It's pretty much take it like, like this. I mean, we are throwing the, uh, the, the snowball at the start of the week here. Uh, we... Uh, while the snowball is controllable, this person, Queen of Pentacles, help us to control the ball in whichever direction we want to go. And then the ball starts rolling down and becomes bigger and bigger and bigger until it gets 
to a point that it is uncontrollable, but that doesn't mean that things are gonna go bad, just on the contrary, it is in a set direction and is gonna reach its destination. That is what the Six of Pentacles pretty much points. It points that we have set it up, the hierarchy we have of, of the events, you know, of the, uh, of the steps that we are to take, and that hierarchy is to be brought to bear. So that being said, Scorpio, oh, and one, one last thing here uh, with the Six of Pentacles, right after the, um, how can I say, the influence of the Queen of Pentacles and right after the end of this week, whichever that substantial goal or, or, or agenda, you know, or direction we have set for ourselves, nobody else can help us after the Queen of Pentacles. I mean, the path after that, after the Fool, we have to walk on our own. Nobody can deal with the predicaments or the problems that may arise right after that. So that being said, Scorpio, this was our ge uh, general tarot reading for the upcoming week. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, guys, and we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.